All right, we're on one of the commercial properties here. And, you know, <laughs> the thing with lawn care, commercial properties, is a lot of them are crap jobs. You know, like, when I mean crap, I mean there's a lot of obstacles, there's a lot of rough terrain and stuff like that. So they don't want to do it. They don't want to deal with it. So they hire somebody. Um, as you can see, there's just roots, uneven ground. Um, you know, holes here, rocks. I don't know, you got asphalt in the middle of the lawn here. So, you know, obviously that's why you don't use these type of mowers, lithium ion, unless you got one that's specifically made for commercial type work. Now, that the wall says it's a commercial line, that 40 volt line. And to be honest, I've been using that, uh, you guys know. And it's it's been doing okay. You know, the runtime is is not that great. So, you know, you guys know I had to carry three batteries to get these two properties done with that um, DeWalt. Now, I'm hoping I can do this, these two properties today with just one battery. Okay? But, again, you know... I like, if I'm going to use a lithium ion mower, and again, guys, this is not to recommend using these type of mowers for this. So this is obviously just me being able to have this mower and to really test it on some rougher stuff. And if it can hold up to this, it should hold up for you type of scenario. Um, but what's cool is, you know, obviously this is self-propelled, all right? But what my, my main point is I would stay away from self-propelled lithium ion mowers if you really have a lot of rough terrain. If you plan on, I know a lot of people comment on Instagram and, you know, young people kind of starting out in lawn care and for some reason they want lithium ion instead of gas. I have no idea why, but, you know, they have like three or four properties and I know a lot of people have ego, the ego one for a strange reason but I guess at the time you know and maybe they got a good deal on it or whatever maybe their whole platform's ego I have no idea but anyway it's just something else that can go wrong okay you know what I'm saying I would you you know get a push lithium ion push mower you know that's where that Makita is a you know commercial grade is how they kind of you know for contractor use lawn care use you know they were smart not going with the self-propelled because it's it's these mowers are light enough now obviously for the homeowner if you got hills these these might make sense but if you're using it on a lot of rough terrain um you know throwing it in the in, in the, the the trailer throwing it in the truck throwing it in the van i just i don't feel that it's going to hold up in the long run it's going to end up not working all right you know this is all the, the drive system here uh, it's it's you know this gets banged up in the in the van going over a route hitting the side of a rock or something and it's just something you know obviously then you can kind of turn it into it's going to really become a push mower once the self-propelled mechanism dies but you know it's not easy to because it still kind of has that transmission so it's going to be tougher to move around but the big thing is you're going to, you're paying a lot of money extra money for that self-propelled feature and um you know it might not you might not have it for too long now that being said obviously there's a warranty on this you know i believe a four year so you know you have to look this is kind of just food for thought okay i just personally i don't feel comfortable with the self-propelled stuff with the lithium ion especially you know the, this craftsman or it would be the ego too now it works fine and it might hold up for two years but it's just a hunch all right anyway so i'm going to show you here now I, i'm i cut here it cut it no problem i'm going to cut it a little shorter so you can kind of see again some taller grass here not too crazy overgrown but again we got you know 
poison ivy growing on, on over here. And we'll have another spot on this property, but as you can see, it's a pretty um, big property here, all right? But it's very bumpy, a lot of crabgrass, a lot of weeds, and um, not too long. So it should have no problem, but I want to get a time. I want to see how long. Because if this can do both of these properties, this this mower is, is is really one of its own. Now, there's also an ego that gets great runtime, guys. I don't want to say that. But I personally haven't brought the ego out. Um, and it's another option. I'm sure the runtime is, is, is just as, as good as this. But I don't... I haven't tried it, so I don't want to tell you. But if it can do, now I used it for half. Now, probably um, I just did my front lawn with it. All right. So my, my front lawn is done. It still has three bars. But if it can do this whole property, I showed you, and there's a whole other side over here. And then I'm going to show you my next property. This is more of a runtime type of thing. Because I can tell you, it, it, it this time of year, yeah, see how long this is? And I'll try to get some of this on camera here. It's really thick over here. All right, really thick. Really, really, and it's very, and it's still wet. A lot of dew. And this is really crazy. We got flowers growing. So this is going to wear down that motor pretty, you know, quick here. Um, but let's see. Let's see what it can do. Um, pretty big property. I uh, would probably say a third of an acre of grass. So, you know, this this property took an entire six amp hour battery from the DeWalt 40 volt, okay? Um, and then the next property really took another six. Now, how I got by in the beginning of the year is I used a six amp hour and a four amp hour DeWalt 40 volt battery. But like I said, as the grass has become longer, thicker, you know, July, a lot of, lot of, a lot of rain, a lot of heat, a lot of dew. I really needed a four, a six, and a seven and a half. Now, not three batteries though. I, I replaced the four with the seven and a half, and I used the seven and a half and the four. It got me through. So we're talking eleven and a half amp hours of the 40 volt to get done with this property and you'll see the next one so you know to carry two big batteries like that you know and as you know they're not really big they're a lot smaller than this craftsman but um if this can do it with one battery that that would really impress me let's just put it that way all right but let's um do this actually you know what this isn't really well, since I got it, might as well do it here. Self-propelled. This mower can really move, which really impresses me. I mean, I got it in the middle, and it's it's cooking. I gotta I gotta walk. I gotta walk pretty pretty quick. All right, so, you know, it, it cut everything. I went a little lower so you can kind of see it more. Yeah, there's a pretty good section. I hope you can kind of tell, but, you know, like I said, guys, once that Ryobi 18 volt, okay, 18 volt, I think it's a 13 inch mower, you know, that real was, real chintzy made guys but when that thing cut as good as it did you know it, it really shocked me and like i said guys i haven't had a, a bad cutting lithium ion mower yet um now some are better than others i think that makita is the best but you got to remember that that's a pretty small it, it's, it's an 18 inch deck and i think they were really smart with that not going to a 21 so it, it really gets those that blade going uh fairly you know high rpm but the dewalt cuts 
the ego cuts and that ryobi cut all right so for the homeowner again that's what these are for and i'm just showing you because this is going to be in the trailer knocked around we're going to be running under rough terrain and um, if it can handle this it should be able to handle your property and you know besides the ryobi being just really not made really well now again that's their 18 volt mower all right uh that's really made for really small properties but um it's hard for me to recommend the gas mower it really is because um you know with these extended run times I, I just don't see why you would buy gas and, and have to deal with buying gas and, and oil and carburetors and, you know, this the loudness, the smells, the winterizing when you just charge a battery, bloop, throw it in, and you're good to go. All right, guys, this is really wet, thick mixture of grass crab grass you know all kinds of stuff i'm going to run over those leaves see if we can mulch them up i'm going to be at height number five okay so probably around three and a quarter three and a half inches here uh, we'll see what she can do going over some tall grass here went over the flower all right went over the flower as you can see she's gone did a great job guys and I'm not surprised because the DeWalt cuts pr pretty good oh, this might even cut better to be honest with you this this did a great job and I had it going really fast here. I had it at its top speed. But then I slowed it right here. I, I brought it down because we were going over some thicker stuff. And I wanted to give it a chance to, to cut that. Now, this is on mulch mode too, guys. But it, it, it cut everything. Cut everything great. You can see this it never comes out great on camera impressed guys impressed and you should never be letting your you know you obviously this is for the homeowner you're not really gonna let your grass grow this long now hey maybe you're on vacation maybe once or twice a summer it gets a little crazy uh, but you'll be able to handle it with this again it's gonna affect runtime so, you know, when they say 70 minutes, it's under ideal conditions, right? Maybe cutting an inch, right? Not wet, not, you know, crabgrass and clover and dandelion. Just nice, beautiful lawn. So, like I said, if I can get 50 minutes out of this, even 45 minutes, this would be an awesome, you know, little mower. All right, guys, uh, we got the first one done here, okay? So, again, uh, you got kind of like two lots here, all right? So, you know, and, it, you know, something to consider with that DeWalt, too. Um, it, it, it can do, with a 6 amp hour battery, you got 20 minutes. You know, if you're cooking, you know, it, it's going to depend on you, and it's going to depend on the grass. Um, but, you know, this is a pretty big lot, okay? And then you saw the other side, all right? Then we got over here, um, you know, the, the uh, DeWalt, like I said, will do this with a six, all right? And maybe a little bit over I'll have left, like to start maybe like two minutes on my next property here. But um, yeah, all this here. And you guys know how long this was, right? You saw that stripe here. 
All right, so cuts pretty good. You know, I'm a little nervous using it because again, this is a real tough property. The backyard is just hills and sticks and roots and uneven ground. Um, and you know, that self-propelled is kind of, you know, struggling a little bit, but it did it, man. So it's a bitty big area here, all right? And again, if you have a, a property this big and you have that DeWalt 20 volt, you should be able to do this, no problem, with the two fives, all right? You know, you're gonna have to hustle a little bit, but again, you got batteries. You should have a lot of batteries anyway, if you're gonna buy that. Remember, it just takes 20 volt uh, XR batteries. All right, so actually, let's check and see how much is left. You know, I feel like this ate a lot of battery. I would not be surprised if, if there's only one bar left on this. Oh, it's showing two. So that's pretty cool, man. So I should definitely be able to get this other one done. Now, the other one's a little bit smaller, but it's a little bit thicker, better grass. Let's just put it that way. All right. So pretty impressed. Remember, I did my front lawn. I did this property. And we're going to try to get another property, which I'll show you. Um, and then I got another property, but I brought um, the, a different mower for that. Because um, it's, it's real shady. So, did pretty good. Alright guys, we're at the second lawn. Alright, obviously there's a pretty big incline here. Um, I weed whack, you know, probably 20% of this. So that's the front. And I gotta see if I can get the hell in here. This freaking place, holy smokes. All right, and here's the back. All right, so it's pretty long. I tell you, it's unbelievable how quick this grass grows. And we got all this. All right, if it can make it through this, I'd be like very surprised. This is very, very thick. Again, more full, but not not as big as a, of a property, but it is. And then I got the freaking dog over here. But very, very tall, very, very thick. And a mess, but we'll see if she can get it done. Look at this poor thing. It's really weird. It just happened, to, I guess, recently. Oh, I don't know. Doesn't look like it had any injury. Maybe it got it fell or got electrocuted. I'm thinking it got electrocuted. I hate to see all the bugs on her. I'm gonna tell the owner. Eh. You know, it's a funny thing. You know, obviously there's a lot of squirrels, right? And a lot of, you know, other animals. And where are they when they not die naturally, of natural causes? Because you never really see dead squirrels around unless they're hit by a car or your animal kind of gets one or something. Like I said, I, I doubt this died in natural causes because I believe, and you animal experts out there can tell me, but I know cats, when they're ready to die, they want to be alone and they go like under the bed, secluded places. At least that's what I heard anyway. Um, and I, I'm sure squirrels, they probably kind of do the same. I don't think it's gonna, it would just go on this lawn here and the way the body is. Yeah, so it's a shame. You hate to see that, unfortunately. But the craftsman must go on. And as you can see, I mean, beating this thing up, guys, isn't the word. Uneven, you know, I'm on a slant here. Just, um, again, beating this up for you guys, because if it can handle this, it can handle anything. Huge roots, uneven ground, you know, your lawn should not look like this, really. I'm, I'm in an area where it's very, very urban. 
So, um, you know, the lawns aren't the best. They're old. All these trees, sometimes you can't even cut them down. It's against city policy. So there's just roots and uneven ground everywhere. But, all right. Cuts, guys. Hopefully you can see this angle. Again, I'm cutting it pretty high because it's pretty long. I think I'm cutting it at five. So you can go a little bit higher, but you know, it does okay, guys. And the battery life, again, we're gonna know in a couple, I don't know, probably 10, 15 minutes. Actually, I did a stripe down here too. But I, I'm so, worried that it's not going to be able to do it that's why i'm starting up here because if i have to get my other mower it'll be easier but um yeah so far we did my front lawn that entire property you just saw before this and now we're going to tackle this the front is already done on this property i'll show you at the end all right guys all done and um all i could say guys is i'm super impressed um you know i let these two properties get a little bit longer not so much the first one but this one was just really out of control um and it's so bad in the back with the um the holes and the uneven ground but let me tell you this thing fought through it and i mean cut down some really tall thick grass and i don't know guys um i don't have one bad thing to say about this yeah, um, this thing got beat up pretty good um, and it's still ticking and ticking means I still have battery life in it there's no way this has um, you know I kind of hit something right here again you won't have these issues and again this is just to show you you know this is kind of like a year's worth of work for this thing in a day just with some of these properties here all right, i can't do this with one hand all right still got a bar left all right and again did that last property you saw the size of it this is this one all over here and this little mound here again just uphill Holes, uneven ground. It's a bend over. All right, you saw how tall this was. So did all this all the way down there and there's a little space down there to the right. This was absolutely huge over here. And guys, you know, this is just my opinion of it, my day of it. That's all I can tell you. I'm not, you know, I don't do anything for craftsmen at all. I'm not, you know, they don't, they, I bought this myself. Um, this guy's really impressed. If you're looking for a mower, all right, that is self-propelled and well, you want battery life, I don't know. Now, listen, obviously Ego has a 7.5 amp hour battery, right? And it's supposed to be coming out with a 10. I don't know because the one I have only comes with a 5 amp hour battery, all right? So you're probably going to get similar results with the Ego 7.5 and, and this one. The big difference between this one and the Ego is it's $200, all right? And if you don't want self-propelled, you know, uh, 150 I mean, you do get a five, but they say 60 minutes. And, you know, you, if you bought the chainsaw or the blower or, you know, a lot of other stuff, 
you're going to have even more batteries. Um, again, I, I, if you have a lot of, if you have a crappy property, where crappy meaning just you know a lot of uneven ground, your your grass is really thick, crab grass a lot. You know, it, it's a really, you know, uneven. Like I said, holes. I, I don't know the self-propelled. This one uh, stood up. All right, it, it's it's still going, but you know I, I don't. I, I I don't know. You're gonna have to make that decision. Uh, I can probably tell you, like I said, if I was to use this all season, right? I bet you the self-propelled would not be working at the end of it. But that means nothing. That's just a hunch. Um, Again, just doing it, you know, commercially and stuff like that and the properties that you have to do with it. You know, it's this isn't made for commercial type stuff. But again, the reason I did this little 20 to 25 minute video was to show you it could stand up to some tough properties, some overgrown properties. And if it can do this, it should be. And obviously your lawn should be a lot better than these. Trust me. <laughs> um, you're going to have no problems with this mower. And I was very hesitant that it was going to make it, even though they said 70 minutes of runtime. Guys, I probably did a half an acre, maybe even a little bit more than a half an acre, uh, combining you know my front yard, that last property, and this property. You're looking at probably around a half an acre, and this thing is still, you know, rocking and rolling. And you know they say 70 minutes of runtime. You know if if you don't need to use that self-propelled. You can just use it as a push mower, and I'm sure you can probably, you know, eke out a couple more minutes out of it, you know? Um, it, I'll be honest with you, it's a heavy mower, all right? This is like a gas weight-powered mower, you know? It, it, it's not light. I had to pick it up, obviously, to get it up on that little, that, that second tier of lawn that this property has. Uh, the, the, the wall is much lighter, but again, and it feels like it cuts a wider but I don't know. All right, let me get out of here. Um, hope you guys got something out of this. I'll catch you.